<laughs> so uh, what, do you, what, do you, what do you think about this game? This is going to be interesting. Um, I don't know the exact matchup, so I'm just kind of just talking off of just what I see on paper. Is I would imagine this would be kind of super hard for Peach, um, simply because Villager lives at the area that Peaches won't really short hop float at. Yep. Um, I can't tell if they're I'm probably doing some button, check. button checking or yeah. okay. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, yeah, with uh, Villager just living where Peach wants to float, it's going right. to be hard. Uh, Peach is kind of a little bit on slow, so she's going to be having a hard time to track him down. Um, not a whole lot really to do to stop those projectiles except for Toad and odds are the village is going to be far enough away where he's not going to get punished by that. Yeah, so. I think Fair and Bear are going to play a huge role in this neutral game uh, and I don't think Peach has an option to uh, short hop Fair. Yeah, and also with uh, Villager having um, a frame 3 neutral air, that kind of neutralizes a lot of uh, shield pressure that Peach is going to throw out with her uh, uh, float down airs into neutral airs and stuff. Right. Nice coverage by Veen, yeah. covering uh, both ledge get options with uh, Gyro and uh, up air. Reading the Toad, yep. waiting for it out. You can see it already coming into play, about the only thing that Peach has to deal with that is, is the Toad, and you know Veen knows that, mm -hmm. so he kind of baited it out there. Ooh, that could have been sticky. Nice, Ooh. nice pivot. Yep. Yeah, he's, uh, Veen's definitely running away with this game right now, covering every single option that Peach has thrown out so far. Mm -hmm. Really, I think uh, Peach's dash attack is probably going to be one of her better tools in this matchup, just to um, catch Veen where he wants to land. Nice conversion, yeah. reading the air dodge into down smash. Pulling out the turnip, not going to use it. Ooh, that lingering three hit. He's up for so long. See there again, the dash the attack dash is paying dividends. Oh, a bomb! Oh, bomb. <laughs> Wait, what's it doing? Oh, no, he tried to grab it. Yeah. Uh, I will say this from playing J-Kid. J-Kid has some of the luckiest RNG. Yep. Uh, we we saw him game. pull out uh, two stitches and a Mr. Saturn. Sounds about right. Before, Sounds about right. Uh, which is insane. Because <laughs> when I play Peach, I don't get, uh, no, I I don't get, get anything. I get jimmies. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But uh, I, don't, I don't know. It's, it's actually looking pretty even right now. Yeah, uh, J-Kid did a good job of just kind of doing what he needed to do. A lot of damage coming off the of dash attacks um, to even that up. Ooh, looking for Jad in neutral air. I don't know if that's a, a thing or... I think a uh, jab into up air is, but he wasn't he wasn't close enough. Gotcha. Oh, Ooh. trying to read the air dodge, but mistiming it. I might try to cover these ledge options, but Villager has such a good recovery, I don't think he can do anything about it. One thing that I uh, saw a second ago that I thought... Ooh, Veen just no about kind of did himself in with that one. Uh, that I saw a second ago was Hinge yep. with Ooh. her. That might kill. Yeah. Yep. Missed punish into a kill. That's a... Uh, that's unfortunate for Veen, but uh, one back throw from him might also even it back up. Yeah. That's another thing about J-Kid is, um, yep. and that'll nice. even it up, is a lot of times early, in his early stocks, he would just get bodied. Um, but he does an amazing job of staying calm and composed and bringing it back and oftentimes taking the first stock like you saw there. Yeah. His adapting skills, I've noticed, are great. Yeah. Fantastic. He's adapted to the, to the space that he can no longer go into because of the slingshot in the air. Uh, and he's using turnips very well to uh, space himself out. Mm -hmm. He's using uh, her air, uh, Peach's air dodge really, really intelligently and uh, doing it with a turnip in hand so she, she can kind of throw that turnip in Dean's cooldown. And that's, a, conversion. that's a nice combo. Good solid bread and butter stuff. Yep, turnip into fair uh, seems to be a consistent kill option for Peach. Oh, mashing out. Yeah. Uh, still getting hit by the, the, the first part of that up smash. Good job from JK uh, on these recoveries. Uh, recovering high sometimes. And yeah, sometimes into the ledge. He's gonna go for the platform. Oh. Great recovery. And that's, this is the other thing. I mean, you know, if she decides to recover high, she's kind of a sitting duck there mm -hmm. uh, for slingshots. Yeah, she can, you know, drop the parasol and fastball, but you can only do that so many times before. Right. I... Uh, mixing it up is definitely important, uh, especially when you have only two linear uh, recovery options like yeah. shows. Dean is doing a really good job of keeping her in the air. Oh, oh tried to read the roll, but double yeah. roll came out. And oddly enough, uh, you know, even the percents uh, don't look necessarily that great for J Kid. I would, I'm still not counting out. This is still in a very, very doable position. It would, uh, he only needs a little bit more percent for fair to kill. Yeah. Uh, see, there you go. Yep. Uh, now, now fair is definitely a uh, killable range, but villager can kill with pretty much anything at this point. A back air or a uh, three turnip up air down air. Yeah. Uh, both characters are in kill percent, and it only takes one mistake 
uh, for that to for that game one to be finished. The one thing that I will say that I wish uh, that I would have oh that's gonna do. We all. Yeah. Yep. That was uh, gonna, one thing I was gonna say that I wish uh, Dean would make more use of is actively running the clock because you saw there was only a minute and fifty seconds yeah. left. He, and he had there was a stretch where he had a good forty percent lead. He could have made life pretty miserable for Peach in that last couple of minutes had he chose to do so. Right. Yeah, Veen was keeping a great, uh, good job of keeping Peach off the stage, covering all the options with uh, with Lloyd and Fair mm. and up air and keeping him off. So if he had kept that up or had started running away, uh, he definitely would have been able to time her out. This is an interesting kind of pick from Veen. I know that he likes this stage, um, but I feel like it should do fairly well for Villager as well with uh, platforms to drop bowling balls off of, um, yeah, it was definitely. I was talking to uh, Veen earlier uh, about the fly light, actually. I was complaining about it, and he told me that he definitely likes fly light as a counter. Mm -hmm. um, because of the bowling balls and the setups uh, for, for Villager. Yeah, and, and now, but you can also see right now how JK is just kind of uh, sh showing that he really likes the stage. <laughs> Off to a much better start than he was in game one. Um, and I can see why this would be a good peach. Uh, stage because she can probably adjust her flow to hover just underneath those platforms and police pretty much the entire stage. Right. Um, I didn't know how well and how effective that would be versus Villager given his range and, and what have you, but it seems to be working out pretty okay. Jake can just slam his face into all three of those. <laughs> those Lloyd's yeah. Oh, questionable the eye from uh, from uh, from Bean for a second there. Yeah. Taking the first stock pretty pretty quickly. Nice little frame trap there. Yep, that was good. Uh, and I like uh, Jacob's use of Toad uh, to stop these projectiles. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely not something you see from a lot of Peaches, uh, especially against somebody that has so many small, annoying little attacks like yeah. Villager does. And I think she's, uh, Jacob's doing it at a very intelligent spacing. She's doing it in such a spot to where if Veen tries to capitalize on her cooldown, she's going to hit him with the uh, gas or the fumes or whatever. Um, as opposed to him being able to close enough to like shield it or roll behind or something like that. So right. You see Veen kind of camping out this ledge here. Yeah. Ooh, is that a stitch? I think we got a stitch online. Uh, yeah, he's yep. holding on to that it. That is a stitch. So you've got a bomb and a stitch so far this set. <laughs> oh, throws it right away. Unfortunately, Jake's conversions with his awesome RNG is uh, sometimes lacking. Uh, but he converts really well off of other turnips. It's, it's really weird. Yeah. Uh, whatever works, you know? Yeah. And you know, uh, what I've noticed, I've played against Veen before, and uh, what he does a lot when he recovers is he, uh, instead of just jumping on the ledge, he uh, actually wall hops yeah. uh, into a fair or a bear. And, uh, you know, wow, not, not quite going to kill, yeah. but definitely anything else at this percent is going to kill. The villagers consistent kill setups. And uh, to be honest, though, that's, that's uh, another stitch face. Oh, oh he's throwing it away, though. Oh. Good recovery from Bean to make sure that he avoided it. Oh, that's nice. And that's, ooh. ooh, I like what he was going for with it. And, you know, a little bit less Very rage. close. Oh, no, the other actually good. But yeah, that's Villager 101 is the ledge hop, wall jump, you know, forward air. Yep. I don't know what he was doing with that. He probably wanted to be the worst. Chop the tree. Not looking not looking too good for me, no, to be honest. Not. He's, he's in a position, maybe a little bit, a few more percents than that dash attack will kill next time. Yeah, dash attack is a, a consistent kill option. Oh, and with the booty bump, it. with a little bit of questionable DI, but I don't know how much difference it would have made. So we got a one-one tie here. Uh, very good counter pick uh, coming out from J Kid. Yeah, uh, definitely making use of the the short platforms and the uh, small side blast zones. Uh, but uh, we'll have to see what uh, what Veen pulls out. Now I'm thinking Veen might would want to go to Duck Hunt. I don't know if J Kid will ban it. I don't know what he what other stage would be on the table that JK would be afraid of, unless it would be, uh, well, I mean, you know, platforms will be fine for Peach. Um, it's sort of a neutral-ish thing for either of them. Um, maybe get rid of FD? I like, think uh, I think a lot of stages are really good for Villager, mm -hmm. but um, he was picking Duck Hunt earlier as mm -hmm. a counter pick, so it might either be Duck Hunt or Town and City. Um, and oh, there it is, Town and City. Stuff. I'm, I'm probably guessing Duck Hunt was banned. Yeah, that might have been it. Because yeah. uh, Duck, Hunt's, Duck Hunt's a really great stage. He's yeah. got very short horizontal blast zones and uh, uh, villagers forward smash and up smash. Very good at uh, capitalizing on those. Oh, and it's even better for just 60%. Dropping. Ooh, right off the bat. That's something about wow. me. She will tack it on in a heartbeat if she gets her stuff cooking. 10 seconds in, already very close. 
Yeah, now now she's using the, the float, uh, the short float into down air, mm -hmm. uh, and Veen is not responding. It's, it's, uh, Jake is playing extremely aggressive, and Veen is just desperately trying to keep him out. Yeah. And you know, just kind of harkening back to what I said before the match started, I said, you know, a lot of times Zika will start off slow. He'll either get bodied the first stop, or he'll lose the first game, and he comes back and just does some crazy nonsense, which you see here, you know, winning the second game and having yep. a commanding lead here. We've been spacing. Trying to read the tech. And Veen, Veen is uh, trying to tie up this percent really quick here, but uh, and he's doing an all right job. Yeah. As long as his first stock doesn't take him, get taken away, uh, then I definitely think he can salvage this game. Good recovery. Yeah. Sure that turn doesn't Ooh. Ooh, so the call out on the neutral air approach. That's what that was. That was just a pure raw call out. Yep. And uh, I think uh, the forward smash that she used, uh, I think it was the, the golf club. Yeah, it was the golf club. The, the clip, the tip hit him, uh, and it barely hit him. Yeah. And that definitely finished out the stock really quick. Now, Jacob's in a really good position, um, and you know, forcing the Dean to try and bring this back. And is the true comp? Oh, it's not true. Uh, I guess rage percents. No. Yeah, now you see Jacob uh, just throwing turnips. He does not want to go near that tree at all. No, just want to stay away from that. Oh, the Lloyd Ooh. almost yeah. killing because uh, Peach is really floaty. Beam trying to call out the air dodge into uh, an up air, but not quite working out for him. Oh, that was Ooh. about to be really cute. That was almost a great conversion. Uh, a back throw uh, will definitely kill at this point. Uh, Veen just has to find it. That neutral air clanking with the dash attack. Is, Veen had, had been getting a lot of mileage. Ooh. Is that going to be? No, nope, not quite. Oh, I thought he was going to get stretched yeah. for a second. Uh, uh, a f forward air will kill at this percent yeah. rage. Uh, Jacob is running away with this match. He definitely is. Uh, I'm looking for this to end if Veen is on the ledge with a just straight up call out with Peach forward air uh, calling out his ledge hop forward air. Uh, yeah, Veen is definitely going to have to play a lot more campy if he wants to uh, finish it. Yeah. The first stock is going to be uh, very difficult though because Jake has been playing very safe. See, uh, air dodging out, making sure that he doesn't get hit by those aerial attacks that a villager has. And with the amount of uh, aerial drift that Peach has, a lot of times she can air dodge to safety and not have to worry about you know being punished from later. Like oh. I don't clean that up. There's the first stock. So if Vina I'm not mistaken, has 117% to make up. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, though, he really needs to get her to about 60, and then a forward smash uh, can do it. But I don't see Jake falling for. Oh, that's good. All right. Uh, great use of uh, Peach's three different forward smashes, uh, depending on the situation. Yeah. Might have been RNG, but I like to think that he set it up. Well, it, the um, forward smashes come out in a. Oh, it's a order. cycle, right? Yeah, it's, it's a, a cycle. cycle and game. I can't remember what it is. Uh, golf um, club, pan, tennis racket. Is that it? Okay. Uh, is the thing. But uh, 